Hello everyone. So, following on from the last video, it uh, gives you obviously now the ability to use a, a standalone USB uh, camera or webcam, whichever way you want to uh, word it, with a you know, Lundstrom and Raspberry Pi system. Now, what I'm going to do now is show you on how to, in my realm really, is to put a crosshair on. So, what we'll do is we'll just open up um, the the code again so python video zero video zero dot py and hopefully hey presto hey here i am so as we can see we've got the video now i don't know whether you've noticed but down here you got some coordinates and what those coordinates do allow you to gauge of where you can put things really I mean, it's, it's a good way of actually doing it i think is to understand where you want to put things on here so just to give you the indication that this is 640 pixels wide by 480 pixels high so knowing that you we can basically just select anywhere around we want to to put anything so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you on how to basically put a a, a cross here so we're going to do uh, a line left to right uh, and then up and down and then what we can do is we can then explore uh, what other ways we can play around with it to to do so so what we'll do we'll um, quit this uh, so what we'll need to do is do sudo nano video zero dot py I mean, the, the file name is obviously irrelevant, it can be anything that you want. So, as we know, we've now got, obviously, this is all the code just to get that uh, window set up to show you what's what. And what we're going to do is, in this part here, just under this part where it says check frame, what we're going to do is we're going to build, essentially, our first line. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to do a line that's going to go from left to right, initially, uh, and have it in neon green, which I quite like. We, we can have it in any colour, I'll show you how to change that. And yeah, explain bit by bit. So here we go. So what we want to do is indent it first. So I've, for this, uh, press the tab key. And then what we want to do is do CV to dot line, because that's what we're drawing. What we're going to do is we're going to put it in a frame. Well, the, the frame is what we're actually utilising in the code above. Comma. And you, you can actually put all this on one line. I'll do the next one all on one line, but this one I'll split it out so you can understand what's happening. So, and basically the, the numbers go in kind of brackets. So, oops, so indentation again. So the first number will be a, the horizontal position and then the vertical position in pixels on that screen. And that's basically where the start is. So in this instance, what we want to do is say zero. So that's for the horizontal. So what we're doing is we're saying um, horizontal position first. So literally from the left to right. So we want to start at zero pixels. And then the next one is the vertical position. So obviously with the crosshair, you want it dead in the middle. So a uh, half of 480 is 240. So what we're saying is we now want the line to start halfway down on the left hand side to start then what we want to do is do our next part which we're going to say well what we want to do is have it go all the way across so we know that it's 640 pixels wide so we're going to the right hand side but again staying at the same level of 240 and that will give us a nice straight line Come here. next go along and this is where the neon colour is and Again, we we can, we'll play around with colour in a second. So, the colour for neon, if you wish to really want to understand, is five seven two five five dot two zero, and that will give us the colour. And then the next part will be. Oops, wrong one. There's a comma, and then one the one denotes uh, how wide you want the pixels now again we can play around with this uh, initially to be whatever we want it to so what we can then do is so, oops, let's make comments because this should be 
good habit to do. Uh, hurry, some tall line. And then what we'll do is do vertical line. So we'll do CV2 line frame, comma. Then what we'll do is do 320. So we're starting. Uh, in the middle of the screen, so half of the uh, 640 is 320, but we want it uh, to start at the top. And what we do is we close that, open another bracket, so we want to then go 320, so still stay in the middle, we want, we want to drop down all the way down to the bottom. Oops, okay, did that wrong. And then I want to set the color. Oops, <coughs> so seven two five five two zero. And then we'll set it to. In fact, we'll set it to uh, five, just so you can see the difference. Actually, so as you can see, we've we've put this one all on one line. And this is if you actually wrap this around, so brought the all this part here around, you'll actually find that it would come out exactly like that. Entirely up to you. That's quite nice for explanation, I think, but quite happily to keep it clean and uh, as uh, less lines as possible. Off you go. So that's all done now. So what we've got is a horizontal line, which hopefully, <laughs> if I've done this right, is going to give me uh, a. a neon green line left to right which is one pixel wide and then the vertical line is going to come down it's going to be five pixel wide again in neon green and so on so proof in the matter so what we'll do is control and x yes we want to save the modified file write it to the same file just press return or enter uh, so now what i want to do is uh, go back to do uh, python video zero dot py and there we go. So there's your crosshair. So you can see we've got the the one pixel wide line along the middle and the vertical one is now top to bottom. And that would be a workable crosshair for anyone. Now what we can do is we can expand on this. So what we'll do is we'll quit. Let's go back. Let's change the five because that's way too big. Oops, <laughs> put five back in, <laughs> a bit of a silly thing to do. But um, how about, what we do is we put a circle around the centre part, you know, to help for aiming if you want to. Uh, to do that, so let's, you know, we'll call uh, a small circle. So for this, what you would do is do cv.2.2.circle circle. want to put in the frame again and this time I'm just going to keep it on one line what we want to then do is set exactly where we want the circle to appear uh, so for this for dead in the centre 320 and then 240 then the radius in pixels uh, we want let's do a let's do a 10 for now uh, that'll be fine um, then what we'll do here let's do let's do a red uh, circle so it stands out it just gives you an explanation of how things go so, uh, da, 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 da. and then by doing minus one will denote that it'll be solid initially uh, but what I'll do is I'll then flip it and we can we can make it it's um, a positive value and then it'll just be an outer one so again what we'll do is we'll close it save oh okay now this is good we might as well go through this is so i've obviously made a line uh, an error in here uh, which is wrong so and it'll always tell you of what line that the problem is so i don't know what Where have I gone wrong here? 
It's obviously to do with this what I've just typed. And then the way, in fact I might as well just show you this. If you ever get stuck and you've just typed something by commenting it out. Ooh. Interesting. What have I done? Come on folks. Jump on here and say I'm gonna keep this in, this is a bit of a blooper. It was that, that I did, doesn't it? Sleigh boy. So if something works like that, then you know that you're in the right area. So let's go back to it and let's run over what have I done. Oh, that's going to be... Ah, uh, there we go. So I forgot to close off where the position of is. So that's why I was uh, having a bit of a hissy fit about it. So. That should now run. Blue. I thought that'd be red. <laughs> Obviously not. We've got a blue dot. I don't know why I've got that as red, but anyway, you get the you get the point. I've got a blue dot. I thought I'd better put through as red, but um, let's try. Oh, and that's what I was going to do. So I've changed the colour. God knows what it's going to be now. Um, you can just make that out. Basically, it's a greenish colour in the middle. But it's entitled to it. So that's, it gives you a good idea of how to make uh, a crosshair you know, any way you want it to. Now, what you can then do is, if you want to then play around... Let's take this out. I'm probably, hopefully, I'm not going too quick on this. But let's bring these onto one line. Okay. So what we will do, and I'm going to cheat on this one because I've done I've done this code earlier, and it'll just save a lot of time. But let's have a crosshair. So a crosshair in the middle only. So be with me. I need to find my bit of cued. explain this part so what we'll do is we'll take let's make it so these don't work we'll leave the small circling because that'll be good but what we'll do is we'll make it this work so what I've done here is I've put a, a cross that's going to be essentially uh, starting at 280 pixels so it'll be 20 pixels to the left and 20 pixels, uh, sorry, got to get my maths right, 40 pixels to the left, 40 pixels to the right, and then doing the same 40 up and 40 down, uh, size 2. So now what we should have is a neon green, uh, small, uh, spit out, small crosshair in the middle, and then obviously circles and around it. So let's see what we do and there we go so small crosshair circle in the middle and again it's, it's entirely on what you want to do with this in terms of the crosshair design now what I'll be doing next uh, in the video is well in, in the next video is we'll turn this into an ability to record straight on the off and then switch it off by the keyboard. Now, what people might be thinking is, oh, well, this is Raspberry Pi, you're not gonna have a keyboard attached, you're gonna have a gun, oh, the rest of it. 
don't worry about that. The reason being that I'm putting it as a keyboard function is the actual flipping across to make it so it's a button press uh, doing a, some form of wiring for the Raspberry Pi should be relatively straightforward from there, but all the code will then come through. So we'll make it so it records a video and off you go. So I hope you like that one. Uh, like, share, subscribe, uh, buy me and share this one. It's, there's going to be a few that's following. I'll try and do on a, a daily cycle basis. Uh, again, it's a bit of a learning curve for me anyway, uh, doing all this. So I hope you like that and see you later. Bye.